Well, take a look, admire Fortnite in its earliest stages. I've been playing since the very beginning of the launch of this game, and I have gotten the privilege to experience the first ever battle pass in Fortnite Battle Royale. Did you guys know that the season two battle pass actually had 70 tiers? It was only until the season three battle pass that 100 tiers would become the official number of tiers in the battle pass. But you guys aren't here for a Fortnite history lesson. You're here today to find out the the best way to rank up tiers in season 7 of Fortnite. Now I have to break it to you guys, a lot has changed since the beginning of Fortnite, but that's why I'm here. I'm going to be telling you guys the tips and tricks I've gotten from playing and completing battle passes dating as far back as the very first season 2 battle pass. You guys seem to really like the best way to rank up tiers fast for season 3, so we're back in season 7 with updated tips and tricks and secrets. Now without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so kicking off this list is the first tip I have for you guys. Now keep in mind, this list is going to go from least effective to most effective tips. So if you guys want to hear the absolute best tips to rank up your tiers fast in Season 7, make sure to stick around to the end of the video for the best tips. Daily and weekly challenges are very important if you are trying to unlock as many tiers as possible within a season's battle pass. These challenges not only help you by giving you XP to get towards level 100 but can also get you closer to tier 100 because you are being awarded battle stars and 10 battle stars equals 1 tier so basically for every challenge that you do you are also leveling up your battle pass as well as getting XP so it's a perfect way to knock two birds out with one stone and get yourself closer to that tier 100. Guys, do not underestimate the power of challenges. Make sure you are always doing your daily and weekly challenges. And if you are ever stuck, check back on the channel because I'm always posting challenge tutorials, making sure you guys complete it in the easiest and fastest way possible. Now here's an interesting one and I say it's interesting because a lot of people don't understand but I'm going to tell you guys exactly what you need to know when it comes to how much you need to play to get to tier 100. Get this guys, 99% of people who are complaining that they can't level up fast enough or cannot reach tier 100 are simply not playing enough. And if this is one of you guys, this is probably the easiest tip you can fix so hear me out. The battle pass was not created to be bought and completed without a challenge, okay? If you are simply not playing Fortnite Battle Royale enough, and I'm talking 75 to 100 hours, as stated by Fortnite themselves, then you simply cannot complete the battle pass. This means even if you're getting on once a day, doing each of your daily and weekly challenges and are still not playing enough outside of that it'll be simply impossible to complete the battle pass you need to be an active fortnite player to be capable of reaching tier 100 make sure if you are one of those people that buys the battle pass for the cool tier 100 skin in this case it is the season 7 ice king then you are ready to put in the work because it is not an easy task to accomplish that doesn't mean i don't have some secret tips for you guys to maybe accelerate the process so with that being said let's head over to tip number three it's crazy because one of the most talked about processes in this game leveling up is also one of the most misunderstood what i'm gonna do for you guys is break down exactly how leveling up works so you guys can see just how to use it to get yourself battle pass tiers there is for some reason quite a lot of confusion revolving around the leveling up process within Fortnite, but that's going to end right here. Now before I show you guys this level up guide that's going to explain to you exactly how the level up process works in Fortnite, be sure to leave a like on the video if this is helping you out, and subscribe to the channel if you're new for future Fortnite videos. Now without further ado, behold. We talked about how important battle stars are to getting yourself to tier 100, but did you know that leveling up gets you battle stars as well? Now maybe you did, 
but today we're going to talk about exactly what levels get you the most battle stars. So first and foremost, it's good to know that you are rewarded with battle stars as you increase your level. So every time you level up in a season, you get one battle star. So all of a sudden, leveling up is very, very essential to getting tier 100 the fastest way possible. Now moving forward, when you hit five level milestones, so for example, level five, level 15, level 25, 35, 45, 55, etc., you'll receive five bonus battle stars. This is huge. Essentially, you get half of a tier for just hitting a level, and it doesn't stop there. When you hit 10 level milestones, so like level 10, 20, 30, and so on, you will receive 10 bonus battle stars. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a whole entire tier. So if at level five, you are getting five battle stars and at level 10, you get 10 battle stars, that is a tier and a half just for leveling up. And you can keep on doing that until you get to level 100. This is probably one of the easiest ways to fly through your battle pass and it is simply from leveling up. But now you may ask, what's the fastest way to level up? We're going to talk about that next. So now that we talked about one of the most beneficial ways to get to tier 100 in your battle pass, which is earning XP. Now we're going to talk about the fastest way to earn XP. First things first, we got to play games. There's no other way to earn XP if you're not playing games. But now we're going to talk about specifically what you should be doing in these games to maximize the amount of XP you earn. Now there is another very common misconception that revolves around earning XP within the game. Specifically, what gets you the most XP? Is it kills or is it victories? Now don't get me wrong, kills do grant you additional XP. But is it as much XP as you get when you survive for a longer amount of time during a match? The answer is no. Here, the trick is you need to be playing for Victory Royale. Specifically, just survive as long as you can because the longer you survive, the more XP you get. Kills do grant you additional XP, but it is very small in comparison to the XP you get when you survive games. Ultimately, if you are playing longer games and surviving longer, you are going to get an immense amount of XP that will throttle you towards tier 100. So to give you guys an idea about just how much more XP you will be earning for either surviving longer times and or winning games, I'm going to tell you guys how much XP you should be expecting. Games where you don't necessarily place very late in the game but get kills will give you anywhere between 0 to 500 XP depending of course on the rest of the stats including survival time, kills, assists, building, etc, etc. But get this, a duos game where you make it to the top 5 with a minimum of 1 kill can guarantee you 900 to 1000 XP. So this should give you guys an idea about just how important survival time is in comparison to kills. Now in no way do I condone or encourage this type of gameplay, but technically if you're desperate for XP, you can do this. So a fellow Redditor pointed out that in solos, jump out of the bus at the last second and pull your parachute, letting your character just flow until the first circle forms. Find a cozy spot in a tree in the middle of the circle once it forms and go about your day for 30 minutes, which is probably the time it's going to take for that game to end and repeat. You get heaps of XP just for survival time. So in case there's anyone out there, like I said, that is very desperate for XP, can go ahead and try this method because again survival time is more important than kills it doesn't stop there i have another huge tip for gaining xp while you're playing fortnite battle royale and this one involves your friends so if you are watching this and have purchased the season 7 battle pass you have unlocked a friend boost as well as an xp boost for yourself now get this, if you are playing with a friend that also has the battle pass and has unlocked the friend XP boost, then not only are you going to be helping him get more XP, but he'll be helping you get more XP. This is one of the easiest and fun ways to earn XP very fast because you're playing with your friends and you're helping each other and it only gets better from here. The more friends you have, 
the more XP you'll get. If eventually you get in a squads game with all your friends and each of you have the 110% XP boost, you'll be flying through levels in no time. If you guys made it to the end of the video, go ahead right now down below and comment hashtag Squad to be entered in a future giveaway. Thank you so much for watching the video and if you did find it helpful, you know what to do. Smash the hell out of the like button down below and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. It's been your boy Krizza and I'm out. Peace.